This is Tom and B News for New Zealand with the Ben the Talking Dog and Tom the Talking Cat. Kia ora, good evening. Lobbyists and opposition political parties are welcoming the idea of light rail through some of Auckland's main arterial routes. Auckland Transport says it's investigating this idea on Queen Street, Simon Street and other Auckland roads is a good alternative to buses. Most of those roads had trams running before they were removed in the 1950s. A public-private partnership could be a good way to fund it. A 22-year-old man is in hospital with critical condition after falling through a roof in Tomaranui. He was flown to Waikato Hospital, sustaining substantial injuries. Tensions between Freedom Campers and residents of Christchurch community are at breaking point. The residents also voiced their frustration at wild parties in the car park. New Brighton Residents Association Chairman Steve Burke says it's a thorny issue. The Christchurch City Council are now putting up no camping signs at the car park. A proposed Skypath passageway could allow Aucklanders walk from the CBD to Takapuna could cost $33.5 million New Zealand dollars to build it. If it goes ahead, the construction will be beneath the Harbour Bridge. After 10 years of planning, the track is now getting closer to reality with a potential opening date of 2016. The submissions, uh, the submissions whether for it to go ahead closed yesterday and there was 11,000 submissions. A man in his early 20s died at a Gisborne beach after he drowned. Police were called at 10am to Makabori beach where three swimmers are in trouble. It's believed that another person is missing. A trainer at a Les Mills gym in Wellington has died while working. The 40-year-old instructor died at 6.20pm yesterday and Les Mills branch posted on Facebook saying sadly one of our beloved trainers has passed away. Let's get to the weather forecast for your part of the country. traffic in Auckland and it is clear. That's all today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Please subscribe and we will see you tomorrow.